Hi friends, today I'm going to walk through the design patterns for various platforms. So let us have a look. What is design pattern? Any design which is followed by a particular pattern appears very beautiful and it can also be reused in many things for various purposes, right? So exactly the same thing happens in software design patterns also. So as per the Wikipedia, this is the definition. An architectural pattern is a general reasonable solution to a commonly occurring problem in software architecture. So in your day-to-day -day, day -day programming, you might be facing some issues. To solve that issue, you will follow a particular pattern. So when you follow the particular pattern, the same pattern can be applied for the similar problems in other projects as well as in your same project, right? So exactly that's what design pattern here it is. So it got its own advantages when you define a pattern. There are many people uh, already defined patterns. You can also define your own pattern. Let us see what are the advantages with the software design patterns. So first one is like reusable. So if you define a pattern or if you're following already defined pattern by the others, that can be easily reusable in the other projects as well as in your same project and speed when you're following a particular pattern you already know like how it works and uh, where it works right so because of that you can uh, speed up your development process next one is standard solutions you already have a standard solution for the particular problem there was a hell of a lot of problems in your development and then you already have a solutions in the form of the design patterns which really saves a lot of time and have a standard solution uh, which is a general standard the next one is maintenance it's easy maintainable as you're following the code in particular pattern and structure so definitely it will be helpful even while you're reviewing the code uh, uh, the code reviewer can easily understand how and where it was split or structured loosely coupled your code is uh, loosely coupled when you follow the design patterns because of that you can make the changes uh, without much affecting the other areas or where it was already used. That's the biggest advantage. So let us have a look on various patterns available. Here I listed on only few patterns, but based on your requirement, you can search for the other patterns as well. So first pattern is architectural patterns. As the name says, it is architectural for the project level, right? Say MVC, MVVM, MVP layered, all these type of patterns can be used to well structure your project. And it will give you easy split between different type of layers. Uh, if you take the MVC model view controller, model view, view model, right? So that will help you to clearly communicate between uh, various layers. Like uh, you have a controller, you have a view and you have a model, like how those communicate each other. Uh, based on the type of platform you can decide for example if you are using uh, uh, ASP.NET MVC application then definitely you have to follow the MVC if you are using iOS iOS usually follow MVVM or MVC uh, whereas Android is used to follow MVC now I think they are also on MVVM so based on the type of project you have you're picking you can decide your architectural pattern so widely used architectural patterns are MVC, MVVM and MVP. The next patterns are creational patterns. As the name says, these patterns help you to create the objects in various ways. For example, if you take a singleton, a singleton will help you to create a single object for your entire project rather than creating number of objects whenever it is required. So each of this pattern will help you to create the objects in different mechanisms. The next pattern is structural patterns. So structural patterns is a design by identifying a sample simple way to realize relationships between entities. So there are plenty of patterns again here, adapter, bridge, composite and all. The next patterns are behavioral patterns. These patterns are concerned with the algorithms and the assignment of responsibilities between the objects. For example, if you are assigning some responsibility to for a particular object and the uh, sequential objects will handle that request or it will pass to the next object. 
So creational, structural, and behavioral patterns are related to your project code, whereas architectural pattern is related to your project level structure. So the next one is cloud computing. So even cloud computing has its own patterns. It got plenty of patterns. I have listed only a few of them here. Ambassador, anti-corruption layer, event sourcing, uh, gatekeeper. These are the patterns which are used for various purposes. Few are for the data related patterns. Few are to maintain your servers always. Apart from these five patterns, we have few more uh, functional and concurrency type of patterns. There are, there's a big list. In case if you have any such kind of requirement, please go through that. But widely used patterns are these four, five types. There are a few more patterns which doesn't fall in any of these categories, such as lazy loading, eager loading, mock object, business delegate. Uh, usually lazy loading is used to load the records uh, when it is required. Eagerly loading is like uh, first you load the records and load them when uh, it is required. So all these different patterns are used for various purposes. Based on your requirement, please uh, have a search and then uh, look into that. Uh, that's it for today, but I'm going to come up with more videos on each pattern. Uh, please follow my channel. Thanks to everyone. Have a good day.